Papa Scott! What am I doing? I'm coming at you. That's what I'm doing. Uh, we've got a song today from 1979, going back in time from the last couple of days, uh, by a group called Funky Four Plus One. Uh, kind of an interesting group. I'm going to um, give you some information up front about them uh, because I've listened to some of this song and uh, it's a whole 16 minutes long. So I want to give you some information first uh, that I find interesting. Uh, it's an American hip hop group from the Bronx composed of Jazzy Jeff, uh, importantly MC Jazzy Jeff, uh, Sharon Green, DJ Breakout, Guy Williams, and Keith Keith. Um, the um, uh, Keith Keith, the voice of KK and Rodney Stone. I'm not. The latter two members also perform together as the duo Double Trouble, uh, notable in the film Wild Style. Uh, so they were, in fact, the first hip hop group to receive a record deal, as well as the first to perform live on national television. Uh, not in 1979. They actually appeared on national television on Saturday Night Live uh, in 1981 for their hit That's the Joint, uh, which I'm sure we're going to listen to. I may even do it for tomorrow. Um, it is, even listening to the first couple of minutes, a much better song than this one. Um, so yeah, these guys were the first rap group to appear on national TV. Um, uh, and uh, if you think back to Grandmaster Flash, I think that was, uh, they were on like um, Soul Train, which was a syndicated show. So it wasn't necessarily national TV. It depended on what stations were picking up that program. Um, SNL, on the other hand, was a staple of Saturday Night Television, even in 1981, or especially in 1981 after... Um, you know, the original group had left and there was a whole new group coming in. Uh, interestingly, the host of that episode um, that they performed, that's the joint on, uh, was Debbie Harry. Uh, so, uh, certain tie in there. Anyway, uh, this song was from uh, their first album. Uh, the group is also notable for being the first to have a woman MC named Shaw Rock. Um, who I believe is probably Sharon Green, uh, S-H-A, that makes sense, Shaw Rock. And uh, so let's, let's give this a listen. Like I said, it's 16 minutes long. If you don't stick around for the whole thing, I can't blame you. Uh, I'll see if there's some interesting things to talk about in here. Um, again, there's no video for this. It's just um, enjoy, 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 printed on the album cover because it's from Enjoy Records. Uh, and it doesn't tell you too much more on the image of the uh, record label itself here. But, um, oh, interesting. Music is by Pumpkin and, Pump Pumpkin and Friends. And yesterday or the day before, I don't know, a couple days ago, um, Pumpkin had done the drum break for one of the bands we listened to. Uh, so kind of interesting. So let's give this a listen. <laughs> All right, a disco feel right off the bat. This is the way we like to have. Sure enough, everybody got to turn it out. Well, I'm kicking rock well, because it rocks so swell. Every time you hear my name, it's big to bell. Well, so we hear right off the bat all five of the rappers rapping together and then they break down into each taking a verse. Um, I just find that interesting that it's something that is really pretty unique to rap music and especially rap music at this time is everybody singing together. Hey, I wanted to mention something about, uh, so that's Jazzy Jeff, MC Jazzy Jeff. So MC Jazzy Jeff it was around, obviously this is 1979, uh, and it wasn't until years later when DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince uh, were signed. Um, obviously there was some confusion there. 
Um, MC Jazzy Jeff was actually supposed to be coming out with an album or did come out with an album in like 86 or 87. Um, and it wasn't until 1994 that uh, the lawsuit that MC Jazzy Jeff brought against DJ Jazzy Jeff and Jive Records uh, that uh, resulted in MC Jazzy Jeff uh, getting the name Jazzy Jeff back for himself. So that probably explains why in the last couple of decades we haven't really heard DJ Jazzy Jeff called that. Um, it's either been just Will Smith uh, or the Fresh... He doesn't really go by the Fresh Prince anymore. But I'm sure um, DJ Jazzy Jeff is still involved, but they can't call him that because he doesn't own the name anymore. Interesting. Better than nice. Oh, a little disco y. <laughs> sort of predictable. Go to go to go to go to go to go to. So there's actually some kind of cool uh, drumming going on in the background here with some multiple notes. Um, uh, just give it a listen. Right there. So there's another couple of things that uh, I've heard multiple times in a number of the, the songs we've listened to is quoting the directions north, south, east, and west, and also Tower of Power. Um, maybe that's because there was a band called Tower of Power and people liked the way that sounded. I think they were around at that time. Um, but anyway, uh, some more common lyrics. Together, together, 
Uh, I think my favorite thing about this uh, song is actually the drumming. There's some really cool stuff going on. Uh, I, I was a drummer in high school and I'm not good at it, never was. Uh, it was fun though. Um, but I appreciate good drumming and, and there's some really cool stuff going on in the background. Party people! Yeah, so that whole funky, funky, funk, funk, funky, they should have concentrated on that, and then that little bit of uh, that section that was just after it, uh, I thought was really nice. Let's disco, everybody! So crazy! We're gonna have an ad here for a second, so we're gonna ignore this. Sorry that 
came up. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, I need to play it. Oh, good. I can skip the ad. So one thing I notice about these guys, there's there's five rappers, there's four guys, and uh, the the woman Shah Rock, and I mean in my opinion, none of their voices really stand out as being uh, particularly interesting. They rap just fine. Uh, they do like some good syncopation between uh, each other, like when each of them does a different word. There's only been a couple of instances of that, but they did it really well. Um, they're good rappers. Uh, th there's just nothing that really stands out. Okay, that that's good, right there. The way he's rapping there and, and mixing together the the syllables and uh, particularly the the letters in the words.
You don't stop. So there you go. There's Funky 4 Plus 1 with Rappin' and Rockin' the House. Uh, 16 minutes of early rappy disco-y music with five MCs and some good drumming. And if they could have just, uh, where am I going, just, just shortened it by like a hundred minutes, uh, it probably would have been a really good song, especially if they pulled out some of the best rapping in there and some of the best terms. Um, I am, unfortunately, after 16 minutes, less than impressed by this. Um, there's just, there's too much of it, um, and they, they needed uh, an editor. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope you liked that. If you did, um, you're a step ahead of me. Uh, if you didn't, then I think um, we're in the same place. Uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll have something a little more interesting and maybe shorter. That would be nice. I might uh, go to 1980 to find something. I might stick in 1979. We will see. But thank you very much. And Papa Squat, out. Not outside, but out.